Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how you can connect your laptop to a TV. So to a bigger screen. This is really useful in case you want to maybe share some family vacation photos or just watch a film on a bigger screen that you only have access to on your laptop. So you can do this either wirelessly or with a wired connection. We'll go over the wireless option first. This is a bit easier for some people. So let's get right into it. Let's start with that. You can connect your laptop to your TV with Google Chromecast. This way you can just share your whole Google Chrome screen and then port that onto the TV. The only thing you need to have to be able to do this is a TV that's capable of using Google Chromecast. So either you need the Google Chromecast TV or a Roku Streaming Stick Plus and you can buy this for around $30 on Amazon. You can buy the Google Chromecast, plug that into your TV and then you're able to use Google Chromecast. So once you have that set up on your TV, you want to go onto your PC or laptop, whatever you're sharing from. And then once you're on your browser, you want to click on the three dots on the top right. This will pull down this menu right here. And here you want to look for some option with the name cast. So right here, it's for me, it's save and share. And then I can go down here and click on cast. Now, once I click on cast, I can choose the TV I want to share it for, for for example, Goethe's Fire Strike right here. You can use that as well. And then you want to choose the source. So either the tab right here, so the tab I have open on my screen, or you can cast the whole screen. So the whole screen, whatever you're seeing on your laptop. This is better if you want to share a film or photos, if you don't just want to cast this singular tab if you don't want to watch a YouTube video or something. Now for the wired connection, you need to check what ports your TV and your laptop have. So a not too old, not too new laptop will have a HDMI input and a TV usually has a HDMI input as well. So that's your first option. Of course, this can differ, but let's start with the HDMI cable. So you can purchase that on Amazon for around 10 bucks and then you have that. Then you want to connect your laptop to the TV with the HDMI cable, turn on both devices. And now once you have them both turned on, you want to select the correct HDMI input on your TV. And on your laptop, you want to press Windows plus P. So press the Windows button plus the P button simultaneously. And now you want to click on duplicate. And this way you can see it on your laptop and on your TV. So you can change things on your laptop. You can change the video around, pause it, everything. And you can also see it on your TV. That's how you do that right here. And then you just select that and then that will be able to share onto your TV. Now, if you have an older TV, you might also need a VGA cable. That's a bit older version. For this, you have to be careful because VGA doesn't share audio. So you only have the video. And if you want to share the audio as well, then you will need an extra cable, an audio cable. But luckily, not a lot of VGA cables are used anymore. But it's the same process as with the HDMI cable. You just connect the audio cable as well. And then you can connect. And then you press Windows P on your laptop and then you can press duplicate. Now, usually very new laptops have USB inputs or USB-C cables. And for that, it's the same process. You just get that cable, plug it into your laptop and your TV, and then you're able to share using the same process as before. So you press Windows P and you select the right input on your TV with your remote. The only thing you have to watch out for is if your laptop and your TV have different inputs. So for example, if your laptop has a USB input, which is quite common, and the TV has a HDMI input, then you'll need to buy a cable that has both of those. So you want on one side, you want the USB cable for your laptop. And then on the other side, you want the HDMI cable for your TV. So you have to really be careful when you're looking for that. It's usually in the, on your TV, you can see there's a port and then it says the name. So it says HDMI and then you'll know what cable you need. So that's how you can fix that if they have different ports. And lastly, bonus tip, you can also use a USB flash drive. So if you don't want to get a separate cable, if that's something you don't need that much, then you might not want to buy it extra for this purpose. So you can just use a USB drive you have at home and you can plug that into your laptop, just upload anything you want onto that. And then you can plug it into your TV and then you'll be able to select that again, select that input, the USB input on your remote on your TV and then you're able to watch any films you have uploaded on there or anything else you want to watch right there. So yeah, that's how you can connect your laptop to your T 
TV wirelessly or with a wired connection. And I hope this helped you out. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if it did.